In this video, we are going to discuss the shape of distribution. The word distribution means how data spread out. So imagine you have a, a set of data. So that means you have a set of numbers, right? So you pick those numbers up. So now you're, you, on your hand, you are holding some numbers, right? And then you toss this number to an empty picture and see how they spread out. So the shape of the histogram describes the distribution, how data spread out. So the first type is extremely important in statistics that is called symmetric distribution. Later on, we call this normal distribution and we have a separate chapter for that. So in a symmetric distribution, the mean, the median, the mode, they are right in the middle. So we have one tallest bar right in the middle, right? And then you can see the left hand side, the bars on the left hand side and the bars on the right hand side, they are roughly the same. It doesn't have to be exactly the same roughly the same is enough. So in a symmetric distribution, the most important characteristic is the mean, the median, the mode, they are right in the middle. Where is the mode? The mode is always the one with the highest frequency, right? So the mode is always the tallest bar. The one on the left hand side is called uniform distribution. Uniform distribution in a histogram every bar has the same height in a frequency table. You can say every class has the same frequency. So in a uniform distribution, the mean and the median, they are right in the middle. There is no mode because every bar has the same height. The data is uniform. There is no mode because none of them has the highest frequency. All right, so that's why there is no mode. We have the mean, the median right in the middle. And then we have the third type, which is called skew left. So skew left, the way I memorize that is left means there is a long tail on the left. So we have a tall mountain on the right, a long tail on the left that is skew left. So in a skew left, so first of all, we look for the mode. The mode is always the tallest bar. And then what about the mean and the median? So for skew left, here is how you picture a skew left data. So let's say on a test, every we have 100 people took a test. Most people got a very high score. So the high score in this picture, they are the, the mountain, the tall mountain that represent high scores. So because in, in a in the xy axis, right? As you move to the right, the x the, the value are getting bigger and bigger. So the on the right hand side, the tall mountain, those represent high score. So the high score, we have many, many people got a high score, so the frequency is high. However, on this test, we have a small group of people, they got a very low score. So that's why you see some little bars, some very short bars on the left hand side, they represent a few people, a few students got very low score. So they actually pull the mean down, right? They actually lower the mean because when they got a lower score, they decrease, they lower the sum, lower sum means you get a smaller mean. So that's why in a skew left distribution, the mean is less than a median and the median is always in in the middle, right? But it's off, it's off the center of the mountain because with the low score, with many, many low scores, they still pull the median a little bit off the center of the mountain. The mean is always less than the median in a skew left distribution. What about skew to the right? Skew to the right means we have a tall mountain on the left, a long tail on the right. Again, tall mountain on the left, a long tail on the right. The mole is always the tallest bar. In a skewed right distribution, the mean is greater than the median. Imagine this, 100 people took a test. What, a, what is the tall mountain represent? The tall mountain represent, we have a big group of people. Again, a big group of people. They got a very low score. However, on this test, we have a small group of people, they got very high score. The small group high score is the shorter bar because the, the group is small. So only a couple people got a high score. So that's why the frequency is low and the bar is short. So since they, they got a high score, then even though the group is small, they still pull the mean up. Again, they still pull the mean up. That's why in a skewed right distribution, the mean is greater than the median. All right, so that is the end of this video. And if you think my teaching is 
helpful to your learning. Subscribe, like, share this video out, video out for me. I appreciate your help really much. I see you all in the next lesson.